it's appalling. It's sort of like a tearing of, of my back. Any movement makes me feel like somebody's pulling two different ways to look at my spine, like they're pulling my skin apart. It's horrible. I've taken my medication about two hours ago, so it's manageable, it's bearable right now, but in an hour, I have to take my next dose, and guess what? I'm waiting for it. This is the oxycodone HCL, six a day, and that's uh, 30 milligrams. I'm talking about nine years on and off this. The penicillin, is, that's a tough one because I am addicted because I need it. The, the addiction of it, I need it to have a life. And the pain medications that they're prescribing today are addictive. I'm horrified, absolutely horrified. Uh, because I feel like I'm almost a part of it. And I don't want to be a part of that. There's a link between prescription medication and how it's used and how it's abused and then the continuing need for an opioid and the, the pills and the medication is very expensive and heroin is very cheap. So we're looking at a population that's both addicted because of pain medication and a population that's addicted to street drugs, which is the heroin. Any update on the patient status? 22-year-old female, breathing unconscious. Uh, going in and out of it at this time. Yeah, I got in the unconscious in the parking lot and they think it's from an overdose. So we launched a program that's both the first in the state of New Jersey, but we're hearing the first really in our country. We hired recovery specialists, and these were individuals who were in their own recovery. After the Narcan call has been dispatched, the hospital calls us and we have about an hour to get to the hospital. My name is Angela Cicchino. I'm a recovering addict and I'm also a recovery specialist for St. Barnabas. Did you use opioids? Yes, heroin and um, opiate prescription medication. As a recovery specialist, we're trained to kind of get the temperature of like what's going on, like what is their life? What, what brought them to this place? Someone who is on their deathbed and going through chemotherapy, I'm not saying they should not be on some kind of painkiller or pain medication. Um, to the 17-year-old who broke their leg at a soccer game or broke their foot and they're getting prescribed Oxy-80s, I think it's a problem and I think it's an awful problem. I think there needs to be more structure to how it's prescribed. We're talking about the most abused drugs in this, in this country are used for both anxiety and pain. And both of those medications is determined by the subjectivity of a patient. And so that's part of the problem that people were then self-prescribing because if my pain level is 10, then my doctor has to do something to address that level for me. And it was the opioids that worked best. I want to be able to, to have some kind of a, uh, uh, a life besides this stuff. <sighs> I roller skated, played hockey, rode a bike from one borough to another. I don't think it's anything I couldn't do and didn't do. And now I don't do anything, zero. And that bothers me. I used to go to Coney Island. Right playing land. I get emotional because it's over with. I don't do anything. I'm here, and that's it. I can't do anything. It's tough. Real tough.